Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This week I released a new instrumental track, The Lost World as I call it. It's actually a mystical orchestral piece that I composed and produced on Sunday. You know, pretty much inspired by uh, the magical background scores used in Harry Potter series. While it is my first such composition, uh, I also have to say that I took in a challenge to, you know, kind of uh, use nothing but uh, Spitfire Audio's PBC Symphony Orchestra Discover. So that's a plugin uh, and it weighs around 250 MB. It actually costs around $49, but there are ways, I mean, official ways, uh, you can actually get that plugin for free. It's a brilliant plugin basically. It offers you an entire uh, orchestral piece uh, all in just one app and as I told it just weighs around 250 MB. It's marvelous. But of course it also comes with its own limitations especially when you compare uh, you know the professional version of the same plugin that costs around $999. So yes obviously limitations are there. So this free version that's called as Discover uh, that doesn't have uh, round robins uh, and also you know the sounds uh, they are pretty much pre-mixed which means that you don't get to choose the mic placements like how you would in professional uh, orchestral music plugins uh, here everything is pre-mixed uh, and sounds come in sets of groups like violins cellos violas like that and uh, you don't get solo instruments like one violin one piece of violin or one piece of cello you don't get to choose that so you cannot pretty much dissect those groups and work individually so that's again a limitation but uh, it's a decent plugin even the free version uh, nonetheless I'm not here to do a review or uh, give a walkthrough I actually want to show you the project file that I have worked on Sunday and kind of you know break down the track explain a couple of things uh, show what I've done so let's get into it uh, so as you can see here this is the project file you can see I have pretty much used uh, cello pizzicato uh, and violin pizzicato cello violin long notes you know, and oboes, piccolo, celeste, trombones, other percussion instruments, marimba. So they're all, uh, you know, from this uh, Spitfire Audio BBC Symphony Orchestra Discover plugin. So let me just give you all a glimpse of the track. Uh, let me just play a few parts so that uh, you are aware of what you are expecting as we go forward, uh, you know, kind of uh, decoding this project. <laughs> This is the beginning and as you can see here it's cello pizzicato and uh, cello long notes, the bass versions of cello basically. This portion is mainly piccolo and uh, violin pizzicato. They are being introduced here. Next comes violin spiccato and celeste. So there's a celeste roll now. And then trombones, right? The bass notes. They build, they, you know, kind of build tension, right? right? So, it's very important. Now it's a pitch shift. This actually increases uh, the tension in the music, uh, especially when we are doing uh, orchestral tracks. Shifting the pitch will definitely help us out in increasing you know, the tension in the scene. And then we have those percussions, those hits, and the bows, and just all other instruments as we have been hearing until now. with a marimba.
cool so this is the track guys you heard it uh, so let's try to decode it now okay guys so I don't know if you have uh, noticed uh, when you heard the track now but this music is in 3-4 uh, timing well that means each bar is made up of three beats well uh, it goes more like so these uh, two pizzicato tracks that you are seeing here on screen now cello pizzicato 1 and cello pizzicato 2 those two tracks are the core fundamentals of this uh, orchestral piece that I've composed right uh, so what I'm gonna do now is just open up the piano roll and let's see what I have keyed in what I've recorded on my piano so it's in the key of E and uh, let me play it I'll just solo it Uh, well, it's a loop basically, it goes on uh, until uh, there's a pitch shift. So I have not used this in the pitch shift as you can see here. Anyways, so now what we are going to listen is basically the Pizzicato 2. Let's solo that and uh, let me open the piano roll. So this you are not able to hear in the full sense. I mean, uh, you are able to hear this pizzicato track more like a phony effect, right? Well, that's because uh, I have rolled down all the bass frequencies up until uh, almost uh, 1000 Hertz. Well, that actually uh, helps me to, you know, kind of mix this with the same pizzicato track over here. Uh, and that, if you see, it's rolled at around uh, uh, 200 Hertz so the bass is coming from this track and when I have already this bass I don't want the bass frequencies of the same track you know getting mixed with each other of the same instrument basically and uh, cool so that's the reason I rolled out all the bass frequencies up until 1000 Hertz in Pizzicato 2 so if you merge them both this is how it's sounding let me just uh, pull this down and it goes on so there are two more instruments that are of very high importance in this track they are cello and violin both are long notes they help you know each note connect with one another in this music piece so what i'm gonna do is cello is more of the bass notes and violin is more of you know the higher notes uh, let's dive first with violin long as you can see here uh, it's actually two tracks that i have used uh, the first one is basically in the key of e and the second one is basically the pitch shift so that's the f key and uh, uh, let me just open this piano roll and as you can see they're all long notes So let me just play this. This is violin long notes There are a lot of automations that are recorded in this for this particular track For this particular instrument that is One you can definitely see the volume that is going up and down with the volume knob so that is one easy automation that you are able to see over there Cool. Uh, so I've just opened up the automation menu and these are the number of automations that I have done guys. Uh, volume, you just saw it. 
and I have also used expression automation, reverb automation, vibrato, and even mic ambience, you know, uh, the mic uh, ambience, basically, the ambience of the surrounding, you know, the surrounding room. I have tried to, you know, kind of modulate that as well and bring in more ambience when there are uh, long notes and when the note actually uh, stays for a long period of time. Uh, you know a lengthy note basically and I have also played around with uh, reverb as well uh, these short notes that you are able to see here uh, at such places I have you know kind of reduced the reverb and when you most likely this portion or uh, this portion specifically yes so these are you know the lengthy notes and then the melody ascends it goes upward so in these such situations, I have actually given, uh, you know, more of reverb. So I have played around a lot. So now what I want to show you guys is basically this cello, right? This cello is not clearly audible. I mean, I just wanted to add some bass frequencies uh, and just uh, wanted to merge cello and violin while violin is the dominant instrument so that is the reason i wanted cello to sound as low in volume as possible and uh, let me just play it for you guys as i told it's very you know low in volume it's it just adds that you know kind of a feeling and it connects the frequencies. It really helped me in connecting different frequencies in just bridging the gap between, you know, the low and the high frequencies. So if, if I play them both together at once, this is how it's gonna sound. It has the higher frequencies, higher notes. It also has the lower notes. Lower notes are not dominant, but they just fill in. That's what I wanted. You know, that flow, that smooth movement is there between the notes. So that helps a lot in an orchestral music. So apart from that, as I told, I didn't want any other instrument apart from this plugin. That's the reason I have not included any piano as well, even though piano is more likely included in uh, orchestral music but I didn't want to include that because that is not a part of this plugin so I didn't want to include that I took this as a challenge and I feel I've done it I've done a good job I guess I don't know what do you guys think do let me know in the comment section below guys that will help me a lot and let's move forward one of the most creepiest things in this track is basically Celeste and whenever you have uh, instruments like Celeste or a bell or uh, you know marimba they make the sound creepy as hell I can see you that I can guarantee you that uh, they add that mystical vibe into the track so why would I leave that behind when I have that option? So here's my take. It adds a creepy feeling, right? I know. And that role that piano roll which is there over here, that octave shift, that basically helps me to bring in the next instrument of the track, that's trombones. They, uh, you know, uh, build on the emphasis. They actually uh, help uh, us, uh, you know, kind of uh, build the suspense, uh, increase the tension in the track. And uh, let me just open the piano roll and you know it's just 
plain and simple. Uh, there is no big fancy thing over here. It's just plain single notes that I have played in two different octaves, lower and higher. And that serves the purpose. This violin pizzicato. Let me open the piano roll and let me play it for you. You know, it's, it has the tension. Let's do one thing, let's play both together. Uh, let me just unsolo that and solo just the two. So this is how it sounds. One is a lower octave and the other one is the higher octave. So by introducing the lower octave version of this same instrument, uh, I'm kind of, you know, trying to uh, introduce more suspense and build this uh, the entire, uh, you know, uh, tight knit zone. Uh, it's, it's, it's a little bit more uh, stiff now with uh, the lower octave being there. If I remove that lower octave, it's not as tight knit as it was, right? Okay, so this is violin spiccato. Why not build tension even more, right? That's the main essence of this. And then it's a loop. This is how it goes, right? That violin pizzicato and violin spiccato, all three tracks combined together, this is how it's gonna sound and it's as tight knit as possible and it's building the tension. I love it. I personally love it guys. Cool. So now what I want to show you is basically this percussion. Let me solo it. And that's a percussion roll. And uh, let me also show you this piccolo and oboes. And I think we are done with this track. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. It's as simple as that. It's, it's, it's like a recurring set of notes. Even when the notes go low or high, this instrument still plays E, F, G, E, F, G, E, F, G, E, F, G. It still plays that, right? So E, F sharp and G basically. And there's one more track guys, oboes. So this is oboes, let me just play that. Okay guys, so I think uh, you all might have had uh, a great time watching this uh, video. Uh, while you know getting to know about uh, the project file that I have actually worked on uh, this track the last world uh, so yes this is a wonderful plugin uh, it's called Spitfire Audio BBC Symphony Orchestra Discover so they also have a pro version as well which costs around $9.99 and even more uh but this is a free app or you can even choose to pay 49 dollars as i said earlier uh fine guys so i think you have thoroughly enjoyed this video and if you are new around here i really hope you subscribe to my youtube channel and if you are already a subscriber then uh, and even if not then please leave a comment below let me know what you would like to see in the coming days uh and uh, I'll make sure that I'm going to do some videos around that. 
let that be something related to music what do you want to know about my musical journey uh, if you have any questions do let me know in the comments below also please hit the like button share this video among your friends uh, maybe some musician uh, you know budding musicians who would want to know about uh, how to work on an orchestral music or something like that please do share it across guys that means a lot to me and uh, i'll see you all next week Okay guys, please stay safe, take care of yourself and peace.